Holiday season is quickly approaching, so we thought let's give you some reminders here. Halloween is just 28 days away, and then it's time to start thinking about what are you thankful for? So Thanksgiving, that feast will be served in 46 days, and then right after, somewhat of the happiest time of the year. We're talking about Christmas, 83 days away. And that time almost means it's close to doing Chris Kindlemar in Carmel. That's right, we don't have much time left, right? Before <laughs> the holidays get started. Of course, it's been a staple of the community ever since 2017. But as Fox 59's Jenny Drexler explains, Carmel's mayor says the city's money spent to help put on this annual market can be better used elsewhere. Chris Kindle Mart is a staple during the holiday season in Carmel. Thousands pack the annual market every winter. This year, the city says it expects to shell out more than $1.5 million to help put on the event, a cost Mayor Sue Finkham says needs to be reevaluated. I think it should be a partnership financially, and now is the time that we need to take a crucial look at that. The holiday market is operated by a nonprofit, but the city pays for things like setup and safety. We believe that we should absolutely set up the market because it's our property and our market. However, then we should ask the market to use its operating revenues to pay for the other expenses for the operation of the market. Finkham says the city has never attempted to recoup costs from years past, totaling $8.3 million. But this year, she says a new framework needs to be put in place. The city has a lot of different pressing needs, especially in this climate right now, where money is tight, property taxes are higher, expenses are higher. We want to put that to police, fire, and infrastructure whenever possible without harming the market. Now Mayor Finkham is forming an advisory board of community members. Executive board members have been appointed to consider financial and staffing resources for the event and how revenue can go toward the market and other city needs. The mayor says this will not affect the visitor experience. Maria Rosenfeld has run this expertly. and We want to make sure that that continues. However, I ran on a platform of fiscal responsibility and this is what I want taxpayers to see, that I'm taking that promise seriously. We spoke to Maria Rosenfeld with Chris Kindle Mart. She says she's still processing the news. And with only 45 days until the event kicks off, she hopes both sides can come to a resolution. Not only for the financial piece, but the many, many aspects that this arrangement would impact for the market and so it is a very multifaceted um, situation and there are a lot of issues that need to be addressed and worked through so that both parties can come out in a, a healthy way. At the end of the day we won an amazing Chris Kendall Mart, the best one that has ever happened. In Carmel, Jenny Dreisler, Fox 59 News. Mayor Finkham says the advisory board is set to meet over the next few weeks and the Chris Kendall Mart, meanwhile, will open on November 18th.